Hi, this is Chris, and here's my latest Ryobi battery project. I made this adapter plate for the Ryobi 40 volt, 300 watt pure sine wave inverter so that you could use two 18 volt batteries instead of this uh, more expensive 40 volt battery. And a lot of us already have a ton of the 18 volt batteries. But what this unit's missing is um, a regulated 13.8 volt cigarette lighter source. So in this project, I'm gonna take a look at what we can do to add that into here. My current idea is that I'm gonna take this existing adapter that I did, and I'm gonna to try to add on to it a, a DC to DC converter that takes the higher voltage and drops it down to 13.8. And so I'm gonna to try to mount this on here somehow. I've taken my original design here that allowed you to put the 18 volt batteries into the 40 volt tool and I've changed, made a couple of changes. I've made it large enough that I can now mount a DC to DC inverter on it and I put room for bringing some wires in and also I put in some holes that you can mount the inverter here. So let's get that started and put that together. So I have two nylon bolts now that have attached the DC to DC converter to the plate. And now the plate should be able to just move right in and snap into place. So next I've got to attach wires in here from the uh, new power source, either the 40 volt battery or two 18 volt batteries. So I've made up two six inch wires that have spade connectors on the end. And these are just gonna fit into these slots here. and they just press fit in. And then you can push them down further with, uh, with the clear pliers. And then these wires are gonna go through these holes here. Now I've taken some long lead wires and put them through these other set of holes. And we'll go ahead and start assembling the compartment that holds the socket and the switch. So we'll take the part off the 3D printer and then we have to remove the support structure. We've got the cigarette lighter socket that's going to go in here and then we're going to connect the two outputs from the DC to DC converter to the back of it. You're going to make sure that you put the plus yellow wire to the plus and the black wire to the minus. We've got an on and off switch and we're going to connect the uh, little four inch wire to the input power. And then later on, we'll connect the input to the DC to DC converter, the plus to the center tap here. It's pretty cramped in here. So first, before you screw the socket in, you put the switch in and tighten it down. We've got the socket screwed in now. And now we just have to use wire nuts to attach all the red and black wires. So now I have the wires with wire nuts on them and I put some zip ties around to just make sure that they don't pull loose. And next we just have to shove all the wires in and glue the cover on. Before I button everything up, I'm just testing with the 40 volt battery, which is connected in to the input wires. And you can see that I'm getting 3.6 volts and on off switch is working and the inverter should still work. The light goes on and the light 
up here works. So it looks like we're all wired correctly. And then I just have to connect this cover on. I'm pretty happy about how this adapter came out. It's meant to slide into the 40 volt Ryobi inverter. It has a uh, 10 amp max 13.8 volt DC uh, cigarette light socket. It has on and off switch. And this slides right into the uh, where the battery would normally go in the inverter. And right now you can either use my adapter that takes two 18 volt Ryobi batteries to power it or you can use another adapter which I'll show you. This other adapter I found on Thingiverse it uses um, these special connectors that you have to order from China. I'll put the link down but it basically uh, allows you just to take a regular 40 volt battery and slide it in and locks into place. So if you did have a 40 volt battery for your inverter then you could still put this adapter panel in to be able to get the regulated 13.8 volts in addition to having all the normal functionality. I hope you found this project useful. I put the design files over on the Thingiverse website and on the Prusa print site. I wish we could get Ryobi to build a real product. Well, if you liked the project, hit like and subscribe. Thanks, have a great day.